the morning. Yes. <laughs> and that's all, folks. And uh, no, no, no. This is not Looney Tunes. Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> especially you. Um, what? I am it's a especially tune. you. I am a Looney Tune. Um, Carrie is saying good morning. Bring on the day. Yes. Bring, Bring on, on the day. day. Oh. <laughs> right. It still feels like a third or fourth or fifth Monday. <laughs> this week just keeps dragging on. And it's going to get even slower for you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take it no more. What? Two, two and a half, three days without me? Yeah. You're going to be... <laughs> oh, Carrie says, means Friday is one day closer. It doesn't feel like it. No, it, it does feel like it's been dragging. It just it, keeps it really going does. and going. It's the Energizer Week from hell. <laughs> no, it's not. Because if that were the case, it'd be going by really fast. <laughs> no, because the week is just making itself bigger. Oh, okay. <laughs> and beating on my head going, <laughs> Not the Energizer Bunny, it's the Energizer Clown. He's got symbols and he's whacking them on my head. Oh, there you go. So the Joker, right? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I just said no, man. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, Lois is abandoning us all uh, yep. to go down and train in Phoenix. What do you mean, quote-unquote train? Well, I don't know. <laughs> huh? You're going down for, for politician training. Isn't that like, I don't know, I mean, shouldn't you already be, you know, uh, good with the uh, the art of deception and politicking? Actually, I'm not, no. Oh, so you need special training for that. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Learn how to schmooze everybody instead of put your foot on their head and say, no, <laughs> listen to you people. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> All right, so you have to have special training for that. Right. Uh, yeah. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> Do you get a degree when you're done? Uh, no. Oh, so you Thank can goodness. add it to your pile that's I gonna, stacking up. I, I don't need any more. <laughs> but, you know, I, I must be a masochist because I am contemplating going for my doctorate. Yeah, that's, you're taking a break for that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After the master's, there will be a break. Yeah. Five yeah. degrees will be enough for a short period of time. I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, but it has to be an even number. No, it doesn't. It has to be odd. <laughs> Curry says, uh, you read my mind, Chris. I, I'm not sure with the, with the Energizer Bunny. Maybe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. or, or the training for politicians. Yeah, yeah that, would be, <laughs> that would be it. <laughs> you can make fun of you now because you're a politician. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Well, we made fun of you before. Yeah, but... Well, that is true. Now we just make more fun of you. <laughs> <coughs> oh. I tell you what, man. Oh, we do have a, a little bit of impromptu news to, to put out real quick. Oh. Um, this show is for entertainment purposes only, but this is also news. Today is a national day of mourning. Yes, it is. Uh, President uh, George H.W. Bush uh, passed away, and they are doing a national day of mourning today. It's the first time since uh, President Ford passed away. I think it was in 2006. I, I think it was six. I think it was six. Either six it is, or seven. It's irrelevant, but... Anyway, it's a National Day of Morning, so a lot of stuff is going to be closed out there today. Uh, the Glen Canyon National Recreation Area, uh, you can still go there, but all of the offices are closed, the visitor centers are closed, and things of that nature. Yes. So uh, do be aware and of that. And the post offices are closed. And the post office, yeah. Pretty much everything is going to be closed down. Some banks. Uh, uh, yes. I don't know if ours are or not. No, um, the local, um, I, I did check when I went there yesterday, and it appears that the local the local banks will be open. Okay. So, um, just so you guys know, yep. if you are going out and doing that sort of thing, whether you're one of our viewers from out of town or in town and you were planning on things, just be aware yep. those things are closed for the National Day of Morning. Uh, so. Federal Reserve is closed. The stock exchanges. The stock market. Well, the stock market is probably a good thing that they're closed because yesterday they were down like 700 points. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Anyway, all right, so moving on from that, uh, a little bit uh, of uh, sadder news there for the National Day of Morning. We just wanted to get that out of the way yes. so you guys know that things are closed. And now we will move on to the rest of morning. This show is for entertainment. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, even Google's got a thing on it. Hey, yeah, they do. kind of strange for Google. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, well, Google, Google is, chooses and picks weird but, stuff. But it, call, is, so. it is a national thing. Yeah, so. so there are a lot of other things that they don't choose not to uh, recognize. So. That's another show. Yeah. <laughs> and Carrie says, yes, it's the politician training. Yes, the politician yeah. training, yes, <laughs> yes. Go learn how to smooth and deceptivize people. <laughs> You're going to be a Decepticon. Oh, oh no. <laughs> 
seeing that. Do you get like a special it. certification badge that says certified politician? Uh, probably not, no. <laughs> but, you know, the thing is, is I am, I'm really not good at deception. I, I know. That's I, why I, you have to go to training. I, it just, it does not. No, you're more doesn't. like, you're an idiot. You should listen to the <laughs> people. <laughs> Which is funny. I, I, it makes <laughs> me laugh. <laughs> Anyway, no, <laughs> uh, Carrie says she's too honest and down to earth to be in politics. I absolutely agree Actually, with you. Actually, but that's how, I mean, maybe I'll start a, a trend. <laughs> I don't see it happen. Those guys are so slimy. You're going to get in there. It's going to get all over you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But at least um, you'll be standing local. up for us normal people on the this is shift. this is more local level and 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 the higher up you get it appears that the slimier it gets so and these uh, are all these are all people okay. that are new to it all right. you know so yeah but they chose to go into politics uh, so did which, i i know i'm hoping I, i'm starting a trend you know where where we can eventually and of course this will not happen overnight <laughs> um <laughs> eventually say, you know, that politicians are honest rather than, you know, you have to be able to lie. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, it's not like you're getting, a, you know, if you're not in it for the money. Let's uh, uh, no, no, definitely not. Definitely not. Yeah, just saying, oh, putting that no. out there. <laughs> Carrie says, a refreshing change, though, and uh, wear a raincoat or a <laughs> I like that. That's funny. You may need it down there. And well, take some hand sanitizer. I'm going to need it anyway because it, it's they're they're predicting rain. Oh. <laughs> so it serves dual purposes then. It huh? does. It does. It makes sense. It makes sense. <laughs> so yes, Lois is abandoning us to go down to, to evil deceptive politician training. Oh, Lord. And uh, <laughs> what? Oh, and you're going to be gone. And we were talking yes. about this yesterday. Are we going to have a morning show? Are we not? And we actually had one of our members is like, oh, you could maybe call in on the Pizza Fairy or, or, or Darkwing Dave. And, uh, well, I, I, I figured that the Pizza Fairy, you know, she usually sleeps till noon. And I, just, that was, and I figured Darkwing Dave had to work for a living. And, uh, well, I, I, I reached out to them yesterday and they both agreed. So we're going to have two special guest stars yes. Thursday and Friday. And sadly, I have to watch it when I get out of training. <laughs> I can't watch it live. <laughs> So we're going to be having uh, Darkwing Dave on yep. Thursday, and the Pizza Fairy will be with us on Friday. She was very excited and willing yes. to wake up six hours early just to be with you guys. <laughs> just saying. That's amazing. You've got enough. I'm just saying. Six hours, man. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Nate says, good morning from Venice, Utah. Good morning, Venice, good Utah. Good morning, Nate. I love watching you guys. I love the ladies laugh and the stuff you guys talk about. Cool. Yeah, well, yeah, thank thanks. you for joining us. And all you guys, thanks for being a part of the network, and thank you for hitting that like, comment, and share button. Especially the share. Facebook is evil. <laughs> Break the algorithm. Hit the share button. Speaking of oh. that, you noticed, you noticed a ratio yesterday. Between two of the social media platforms. <laughs> it's actually, it, I didn't notice it. I was actually researching it, and I found out some interesting little factoids. <laughs> so, for, for those of you that have been with us for a while, you'll, you'll kind of know this. For those of you that are kind of new, we mostly focus on the Facebook side of things, because it's better for networking. It is, it Even is. though the algorithm likes bending you over, throwing some sand in some stuff, and having it its way. But... <laughs> That's a whole different story. <laughs> and a completely different show. Yes, that PG-13. <laughs> one of the shorts for the table for the Although, you know, doing that sort of thing, we might be able to make some extra income on the side. Just say uh, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, Zuckerberg, no! no! It no! <laughs> you just need to stop. <laughs> Tina says, good morning. Comments are not showing up again. No! Oh, no! I even restarted my phone. Oh. I'm sorry, oh. Gina. That's terrible. And Gina says, yay, pizza fair. Yes. <laughs> <coughs> so I was looking into some research by people who uh, actually know what the heck they're doing. And I found out. So, you know, we, we don't just broadcast here on Facebook. Like I said, we focus here. This yeah. is where we have our conversations. This is where we read your comments. This is where the algorithm hits us over the head with a baseball bat. Mm, you know, thing, much. things of that nature. Yeah. Uh, so we, but we also broadcast on YouTube and on Twitch and on Twitter. Thank you. <laughs> Which is actually Periscope, but it's part of Twitter. Oh. <laughs> anyway, so we broadcast on all of those things, and I decided to start taking a look onto the YouTube side of the things, because we don't really do anything. We just broadcast over there. We don't mm -hmm. really pay attention to it. Which is going to be changing over time. Uh, yes. 
But I was curious. I'm like, you know, we we have you know over three thousand people that like the page. Uh, about thirty five hundred people actually follow the page. We reach over two hundred thousand people a month. And so I was curious, like, how that compared to say a normal YouTube channel. And I found out that on Facebook it is much more difficult to actually get likes uh, on your page and followers on your page than it is on YouTube. And they actually have it figured out. For one person that likes your Facebook page, that's the equivalent of 10 subscribers on YouTube. That's scary. It's a 1 to 10 ratio. That shows you how much that algorithm really goes, funk. Stop it, Zuck. <laughs> He's not gonna. <laughs> He's not gonna. <laughs> So anyway, we thought that was an interesting little fact. We'd throw that out there for you. So, you know, basically, if we were just doing this on YouTube and paying attention over there, we'd have over 30,000 subscribers. How cool is that? That would be epic. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. that is a 1 to 10 it's ratio. It's just going to take time. Oh, yeah. Well, like I said, we don't really focus over yeah. there. So, yeah. and, and, you know, consistent internet. Oh, <laughs> speaking of which, yes, once again, and you know what? I blame myself. <laughs> What? The internet was fixed. Everything was amazing. And this morning, that was yesterday, everything was working great. We were broadcasting on our normal internet and stuff. And this morning, the internet is not working at all. No. So we are back on the Verizon Jetpack. <laughs> thank you, Verizon, for your uh, internet. Uh, yes, yes, thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, not sure exactly what happened. We'll get. We'll try and probably get that Probably because I forgot out. to pay the bill. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Lewis. Excuse me. <laughs> So it could be yeah. that, or it could be a random technical glitch, or the, maybe the radio fell off the roof. I don't know. I, I'm going with because I forgot to pay the bill. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so this time it may not actually be the ISP's fault. It's Lois's fault. Yeah, for so some reason. So everyone say, thank you, Lois. <laughs> yeah, for some reason you have to you have to pay these things for them to work. Yeah. Kind of important. <laughs> Just get a couple of comments oh, oh, okay, coming okay. through. <laughs> Uh, let's see what we have here. Uh, Casey says, go to YouTube. Um, well, <laughs> if we go to YouTube, you guys have to come over there and comment over there. So we yeah. are going to be working on that. We are on YouTube. We have all of our broadcasts over there as well. Well, not all of them. About 90% of them. Uh, Yeah. The ones that are in studio. Yeah, the in-studio stuff, the morning show and the nightly news are all on YouTube. Yes. And specials. But night, yeah. live breaking news is only broadcast over here on Facebook. Yep. So, I'll tell you what. If you guys go over there and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I start seeing those numbers go up, we'll pay attention to the comments over there. <laughs> so, it's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's another thing. So, one of the, you know, because I was doing a lot of research trying to figure stuff out. And they're like, what can I do? La, 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 la. <laughs> and and uh, apparently, only 1% of people who actually... Uh, consume content, which means, you know, watching stuff, only 1% actually engage with that yes. content, whether it's a like, a share, or a comment. Yep. So, and, and you know what? The numbers prove out. Yeah, they do. Because <laughs> we see how many people re-reach, how many people watch, and how many of those actually like, comment, and uh, yeah. and all that stuff. So <laughs> it's, it's weird, you know, because yeah, you're like, only 1%, and yep. Darn too, and only one yeah. percent of people actually click that button, and, and that's, and that's why I used I, to say that that whole you know my whole spiel. If not you, then who? And if not now, when? Well, that would be why, because most yeah. people are just they just passively watch and enjoy the show. Exactly, you which know, is fine too. Yeah, but, but we um, you know those those <laughs> those reactions and stuff they help out. I'm just saying they do, they do, <laughs> and and it also depends on what it is. Like um, a lot of the live breaking uh, where you know where it's an urgent thing, and yes. you know we we have more engagement. Yes. Um, yeah, when it's something that's really it, big, people it, are yeah. like, oh, and then they start clicking and stuff. But if you got to do it on a more regular basis, and it helps us make it bigger, so that more things can happen. It, yes. Like yes. Uh, you know maybe answering uh, comments over on YouTube. <laughs> 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 if you guys like YouTube better, start subscribing over there. If I get enough subscribers, we'll start paying attention. Just saying. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gary says, to be fair, so I don't catch an earful, not everyone is slimy. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, this is true. Yeah, she's not slimy yeah, yet. No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> After your training, will you be a certified slimy? Uh, no. No? Okay. No. The second. Uh, no. <laughs> I'll we know a... not all politicians uh, are crooked. Yes, this is true. This it, is you true. know what? It's probably like the uh, the social media thing. 1% of people that are in politics are not slimy. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> And actually interact with their constituents. I'll probably be, you know, like a little salamander. A little salamander. <laughs> what, can I cut off your arm and see if it grows back? Uh, no. But you no. just said <laughs> a salamander. No, come on. 
They have regenerative <laughs> capabilities, man. That would be epic, but no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know what? I, I do have a first aid merit badge, a knife, and a band-aid. We can make this work. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> not. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. I do not have regenerative. I can't you even say it. You said salamander. <laughs> Salamanders have regenerative capabilities. I was, I was capabilities. making cute little, you know, slimy looking thing. Oh. <laughs> right. But not really slimy. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> now you're an amphibian. <laughs> Why not? I'm, I'm a lizard, in, in a way. Well, that's you not know, an amphibian. With, that's with, a reptile. I know. I'm just, you know, regression. Oh, regression. <laughs> <laughs> you got to work your way up to actual uh, reptile. Right. <laughs> More primitive life. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to be having an interesting time while Lois is gone. I bet. Just so you know, we're going to have a giant party. I, it doesn't surprise me. No, I, I don't know. As long it's as... It's going to be me and the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to know what type of party that's going to be. <laughs> Ew. No, no. No, not that kind. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Is that? Oh, that's terrible. Especially with the poor Diglett. I was just, you know, you're you're talking, you're going to have a party, but it's just you and the dogs. <laughs> That's how that's how sociable oh, and exciting you're, everything is. You're you're gonna feed them all the freaking snacks, huh? Oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh, I the little teeth and they dance oh, and they prance no. and it's all kinds of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Dave says, if it doesn't grow back, oh, I got some pretty good sewing skills. Good See, th- no, yeah. no, he's with me, man. No, man, we'll do it. Nah, uh. And I got a degree <laughs> in Frankensteinism and mad science. Well, that's more an area of study than a PhD. I was, I was <laughs> for that. <laughs> no. I like my appendages right where they are. Thank you very much. You're no fun, man. <laughs> yes, I Help am. Help us expand <laughs> the sciences and our, and our thinkabilities. Oh, and Gary no. says he will be like a <laughs> Bundy and Buck the whole time you're going, yeah, probably. Actually, I'm that way anyway. <laughs> Bird. Yeah, and Buck would be a bangle. Yep. <laughs> love and marriage, love and marriage. Oh my I goodness. Love a horse and carry no. oh. this. I tell you. Right. Oh. No. Uh, right. no. 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 <laughs> what? No. Oh, we, we went completely. <laughs> wow. I've gone to Pouch. <laughs> I wasn't drinking coffee then. <laughs> Instead of gone to flat, I've gone to pout. Oh, oh no, that needs to be on a t-shirt. What, I've, I've gone, gone to pout? pout. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, like that. Oh, there's your next t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. there you go. There you go. I've I actually have some pout. pictures for t-shirts I was thinking of putting out too. I've got oh, some okay. beautiful pictures of Rainbow Bridge. and Nice. Maybe that people would like yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, I like it. I like it. It could be interesting. It mm-hmm. could be. <laughs> No. So what else am I going to do while you're gone? Let's see. Oh, yeah, i got to clean house. <laughs> That's always exciting. <laughs> oh, and I'm going to and I'm going to be in a hotel room where I really don't have to. That's <laughs> <laughs> what happens when you get abandoned. <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible. I'm telling you. So get you, you get to take a city vehicle down there, oh. and uh, you you got to wiggle out of them. Uh, what is it? It's an exploder, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, a Ford Exploder. Yep. Because it has four wheel drive. Yes. Because yeah. there's yes. supposed to be a snowstorm coming tonight. Uh, uh, pretty much. <laughs> and it's still icy out there. Oh well, yeah. Uh, it was it five. was like nine degrees yesterday. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they don't have chains. They don't, so huh? um, the city. I oh, don't have chains like, huh, right? <laughs> um, for, for the cars, so it just made sense. You know? Makes sense. Get a little four-wheel drive action going on. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully I won't have to use it, but, yeah, you know, okay. it's there just in case. Yeah, well, if it does blizzard, are you going to take pictures for us? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you had to think of, uh, I had to think of where you were talking. I'm going down to Phoenix. <laughs> oh, between, between here and Phoenix is a giant hump in the ground called Flagstaff. I realize that. It's kind of pointy. But, but I'll just have it. I, w- I was thinking, you know, if it blizzards in Phoenix, that's national news. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could be on the scene and be like, oh, I'm stuck here. I can't see squat. And there we go. Oh, oh no. Okay, it was fun. I'm just saying. Oh, goodness. So, um, <laughs> Carrie's asking bubble baths and room service. I wish. <laughs> 
Um, the bubble bath, maybe, but uh, room service is too expensive. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Although, you know, you do have uh, your mom sends you those uh, those bath foo foo stuffs. I do. Yeah, yeah. You got the foo foo stuffs, and so you could take those with you. No, it takes up room. What, what, I'm a minimalist uh, when I pack. Oh, okay. Well, you could put them in like a, a Ziploc bag and tape it to your head. Uh, no. Then it takes no. up less room. <laughs> Man. Um, and Carrie's saying there's a nice sidewalk going down the hill, though. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so it's oh, gonna, goodness. It's going to be an exciting. Trip. It is. It is. I know. I know. Abandonment. I'm going to have abandonment issues. Me and the dogs. Oh, my. The she dogs already, already have, have abandonment yeah, I know. I don't even know why. If there were any more spoiled rotten and did anything less, we might as well have them stuffed. They would be more useful and less annoying. They have abandonment issues because I had to go through a 10-month training, and yeah. I wasn't there. So you freaked out so the dogs. I, I did. I did. I oh freaked them out. Those poor dogs. And that was after being around me all the time because I was able to take them to work. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder they've got issues. Yeah, huh? <laughs> Bengalo. Bengalo. <laughs> Bengal thinks he's an antelope some days. He he's does. a Bengal. He does. <laughs> it's a Bengal. <laughs> yeah, when he gets excited, that dog can bounce about four feet off the ground. It's dong, dong, and he's not small. It's not four feet. I have seen him clear a six foot. I just meant in the house. Oh, okay. In the house. But he gets excited. He's like, ding, ding, ding. And I'm like, how can you stop? Get down. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing he doesn't realize because he he does jump over six feet. Yeah, I know. And he bang um, his heads on the ceilings. <laughs> and he thankfully he does not realize he can actually go forward <laughs> yeah. that high. He just goes <laughs> up and down instead of like this. Yes. His video games fail, but they're dogs. It happens. It's not a big deal. <laughs> so his whole thing is is and I've seen this is if he can see over the fence. Uh -huh. He'll go over. Oh, okay. But if he can't see over while he's standing, he'll just he straight up and down. <laughs> but when he bounces up, he can see over and he goes, hello. Uh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> but he doesn't go forward, thankfully. <laughs> and Tigger just climbs the things. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she does. <laughs> She's part spider dog. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Spider dog. Spider dog. <laughs> Oh, oh, let's that's, see. That's Gina just, says, when I go to the pageant for a week, I take a cooler with bottled water and food, sandwiches, etc. Saves nice. tons of money. Yes, um, but I didn't properly plan. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and Angie is saying, morning from Mesa. Good, Good morning, morning Angie. Mesa. <laughs> and Angie. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing. Mm. So, okay, we were talking about this uh, uh, yesterday. We're going to have to uh -oh. jump in. Oh, let's see here. Dave says, uh, you know, everything you do is forever to a dog. When you leave every day, it's forever. That's why the pups are so happy when you come home 10 minutes later. Yes. Uh, or even 30 seconds when oh, you're out hitting geez. firewood. I tell you what, man. <laughs> And you know, for those uh, for those of you that are behind the hat, unplugged, you you know this because we've shown you. But uh, Tigger, she's got issues, man. <laughs> so she has this thing where you know, if 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 a mouse farts within ten block radius, she barks at it. And if somebody knocks on the door, God forbid, she barks at it, and it's not a pleasant. It's just it's ridiculous. But what she will also do is if she is sitting there looking at you, you can look directly into her eyes and go, knock, knock, and she will bark at you. <laughs> yes, she Because is. she thinks that you're knocking. <laughs> and that is apparently forbidden in her doggy little brain. And she will bark, and it's not like a, you know, it's not, she actually thinks someone's knocking at the door, even though she's looking at you, <laughs> watching you say, knock, knock, she freaks out. I, I'm surprised she didn't bark, with, because her yeah, let's see if just it. a, knock, knock. No. No, she can't hear us. No. Thank <laughs> goodness. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, she barks at that. Oh my goodness. It, it, it's horrifying. And for, for those of you that are interested in joining Behind the Hat Unplugged, which is our behind the scenes weirdness that goes it, on it, around it here, it's 10 <laughs> bucks a month that goes to help support the cause of helping it in. And uh, if you're interested, just message us here on Facebook. Yeah. Fun stuff. It is. It is fun stuff. <laughs> so we talked about doing something yesterday. We came up with a bargain of sorts. We did. It was, uh, you know, you have to watch the uh, the Lord of the Rings series. Marathon. Marathon. 
which you're not going to be able to do it for like another week. But it, uh, it, it's poor baby, on the books. It, it is. It but is. in exchange, I had to watch a certain program. Uh, if yes, you will. yes. A certain show. <laughs> 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 and uh, for those of you behind the hat, you know that I followed through on said deal. Yes, you did. <laughs> Woohoo! Yes, we watched. Uh, <laughs> we watched the Rocky Horror Picture Show last night. It, yes, we did. <clears throat> Which yes. is entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was definitely unique. I will give it that. It was unique, and and it was fun. I did. I I enjoyed it. And uh, you know, it's got Tim Curry in it. And. <laughs> what? Tim Curry dressed in drag. You know, it's like. But he totally owned it, man, he did. and he did a good job. It he was, did. He was amazing in that. So it was I mean, is it something? Is it something that you would watch again? Uh, probably to see what kind of things I missed and stuff like that, and pick up on it. You know, okay. obviously, I know you have seen it like a gajillion <laughs> times because she was singing along with every <laughs> single thing, and yes. she was quoting all of the things. Which yes. I have, I have many movies of which I am also guilty of. <laughs> So, obviously, you've seen it way more than I have. Plus, you've also been to those theater things, right? I've been once. <coughs> I've been once. So, I, I, can, I can see it happening. I can see it happening. <laughs> but, yeah, Tim Curry, that was just epic. It was hilarious. It, yes, it was. Yeah, I could. And, and I, can, I can see some yeah. of the songs are fairly catchy. They, they are. Yeah, yeah. They are. <laughs> they steal the time. Okay. <laughs> That was pretty funny. Oh my goodness! Uh, Dave says, "Hey, hey, back of the tigger. She's back a sweet off. The oh, tigger. back off the tigger. <laughs> she is a sweet. Yeah, girl. she is. And uh, admit it, you loved it. Let's do the time where I just said yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, it was actually. And you know what, Tim Curry, that he made the movie for me. He did just because it's Tim Curry. I love Tim Curry. And his the way he acts, the way his facial expressions, the whole nine yards, the way he talks, it was like amplified in this like a million fold. It, it, it was, was. It, it, the it whole was anticipation line. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was funny because uh, Dave, who was talking down here in the comments, he actually said it one day uh, a while back. He he actually typed out anticipation. And I assumed that that's what it was from, but then I actually saw it and everything clicked together. And I was just like, <laughs> Yeah, you fell off good. the couch. I was like, that, one. I was like, that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. It was good. I did. I enjoyed that. It was. It was. It was pretty. Fun. So, what was your favorite scene? What was my favorite scene? I don't know. There was. Ah, that's that's a hard one. <laughs> I mean, because you know, honestly, it was a, it was a giant kind of mess. You know, like, it was a little disjointed, a little this, a little of that, and there was some fun stuff. I, I don't know if I have a specific scene that was, like, my favorite, except for maybe the one, uh, maybe with Tim Curry singing about him being a transvestite, and that was funny. Oh, his entrance. Yeah, his entrance, because that is, like... That I is mean, the best just, entrance, bam, yeah. the movie entrance ever. <laughs> I know, it was epic. Yeah, he totally owned that whole thing, I think, so I'll go with that. Tim Curry's entrance into that was amazing. <laughs> he just came out, and he's just like... Bam! <laughs> and then at the end of it, he does the whole, you know, <laughs> like, that is epic. <laughs> See, I love There are movie. not many people that could pull something off uh, like no, that. I tell no. you what. <laughs> <laughs> and he did. He did um, very well. Yeah. Uh, I was, I was, like I said, that. I was highly impressed. And let's see, that was done in 75. Yeah, 75. 75. So we're talking, what, it's 40... 43, 44 You're years old now. not doing math this early in the freaking morning. What's wrong with you? And so, yeah, oh, I, I, terrible. I love that movie. And, and for me, it's um, my level of love. I, you know, we all have our lists of movies, uh, sure, sure. our yeah. best top movies. And, um, of course, most of mine are, are cult classics now. Cult classics. Um, yeah. You know, and it's right up there for me with Legend and Princess Bride and uh, just a... I'm not sure if I'd stick it up there just yet, but some movies do grow on you over time as you process it and chew it over uh-huh. and then watch it again. Uh-huh. That happens with a lot of movies. And we'll have to find a, a theater that does a midnight um, Rocky Horror oh, okay. and take you there. Just to see what it's all about? <laughs> <laughs> really? <All right. laughs> what? It's, uh, well, Obviously, yeah. it's an inside joke. You, you Those who of... know, know. <laughs> 
<laughs> is everyone dressed in drag or something? What? Uh, um, every a lot. Well, most of the people actually dress up in characters. Well, so yes, yeah. and would be yeah, the answer much, to that question. Much, uh, That's all you had to say. <laughs> uh, Dave says uh, Susan Sarandon denied being in that movie for a long time. You know, I heard something about that. Yeah, a lot of people did. Yeah, uh, a lot of people. Which I guess you know, if you're not comfortable with that sort of thing, because it's that far off the wall, I could see why they would. But like I said, Tim Curry just. I mean, bam! He nailed it. And, you know, he totally owned it, and he did an amazing job at it. So, yeah. and and we were talking last night. There was a thing when um, Spin City, the the show Spin City, came out. There was a thing oh, yeah, okay. where where people were asking who it was. It was something along the lines of who is Barry Boswick. Okay. And yeah. and you and I were talking about it last night, and uh, most people did not realize. That the mayor in Spin City was Barry Bostwick, who oh, yeah. actually played Brad. Okay, in right. in in the movie. In the movie. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say there might be some people in here that haven't watched it that have no idea what that. Uh, probably. About. Just saying. But but I have faith in our in our audience. <laughs> so I do. <laughs> well, I'm glad you do. Uh, Gray said the jerk. Um. Not, not sure. I don't know what it's referencing. I don't know. You're going to have to be more specific, Carrie. Unless the, it's the movie, The Jerk. Oh, okay, because there's a lag in the comments. We're not sure uh, yeah. what you're referring to. So. But w- the movie, The Jerk, um, wasn't that I've Steve never Martin? watched it. I have no idea. I think that was Steve Martin. Oh, I think you're right. I think you're right. I could, here, I could pull it up. <laughs> yeah, you have a big internet thing in front of you. <laughs> oh, let's see. Um... Um, let's yeah, see. It was it's a musical Martin. comedy. Yep, Steve Martin. So, okay. All right. Uh-huh. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have never seen it. I, You know what? Now that I see the, the pictures and the stuff, I have seen previews, but I don't think I've ever actually watched and, it. So. And Carrie's saying, yes, the movie. Ah, Steve okay. Martin. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. So, um, we'll, we'll have to give that one a try at some point. Okay. Right. Um, but yeah, I've never seen that one. Yeah, I, but I, I, like, I like him, it, so I'd say that works. It, yeah. Steve Martin's freaking hilarious. Oh, he is. He is. You know, that, that, that brand of comedy has just gone by the wayside because it offends too many people. Oh, that's another it's terrible, man. <laughs> I know, but <laughs> I can't have as much fun now because people are offended at everything. Yeah. It's a personal choice to be offended. Quit choosing to be that way. <laughs> it's not hard. Oh, just saying. <laughs> And Not Carrie hard. says it takes all types, right? Yeah, pretty much. And she says that the movie is hilarious. Yeah, I bet it is. Well, like I said, I, I love Steve Martin. Yeah, he's hilarious. Oh, right? my goodness. Yeah, he um, cracks me What up. was it? It was Blue... Mm. I can't remember the whole title. <laughs> um, there was one where he was playing a, a gangster... Who had to? Who went into uh, witness pro- protection? Okay, and it, it was. It started with the word blue, um, mm. but that one was freaking hilarious too. Nope, not, it's not ringing any bells, man. Yeah, yeah. not ringing any bells. Blue heaven. Nope, definitely not ringing any bells. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm, my it's three heaven. amigos, man. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the guy, you know. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, I I was watching your expressions last night. And oh, you spying on me! I was, I was, and some of your expressions were a little horrifying. Right. Well, yeah, I mean, and I think that's probably part of the appeal. It's it's like a train wreck. You can't look away. It's like, like did that just happen? Well, and then like Tim Curry just came in, threw off a thing, and what the heck is that? Like what? <laughs> but it totally worked. I was like, hey. Yeah, well, even at the beginning credits, you know. Um, it, oh, it yeah, with the lips singing. Uh, yeah. was like, and and you know what? It, it's Things started clicking in my head. Like, I've seen, you know, things about Rocky Horror Picture Show, and I've seen those lips before, and I was like, oh, that's where they're from. <laughs> Look well, at that. Well, when they were going through who the cast was. Oh, that was funny, And yeah. and, and your jaw about dropped when... when um, Meatloaf came across. I was like, "Hey, Meatloaf! <laughs> I know like, Meatloaf. Huh? <laughs> Tim Curry, Meatloaf. Yeah, that was pretty funny." And and you know, honestly, I had no idea what you know because it's Rocky Horror Picture Show. And like I told you until recently, a few years ago, mm-hmm. I thought it was you know I was always called it Rocky Mountain Horror Picture Show because <laughs> said I grew up in Colorado or didn't grow up, but I lived in Colorado for a long time, and uh, you know, so it just kind of. And I was like, well, what is this Rocky thing? And it's a person in the movie. Look at that. I had no idea. (laughs) I had no idea. (laughs) 
Yep, Rocky is a uh, Frankenfurter's creation. Yeah, I did ah! the name Frankenfurter. Oh, <laughs> that was so hilarious. <laughs> Frankenfurter. <laughs> what a name, man. What a name. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I love the show. I could watch it. Pretty much every day. I like today. that. I like the hunchback guy too at the beginning. When riff he starts, raff? Yeah, riff raff. When, he, <laughs> when he's singing, uh-huh. uh, he, you know what? He, he's probably uh, next to Tim Curry, best singer in the show. <laughs> probably. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, pretty I, I um, and the funny thing is, is um, I have my favorite characters like we all do. Oh yeah, and and, and <laughs> the irony of it, and it dawned on me last night oh. as we were watching <laughs> it. Um, the irony is, my favorite three characters are the three aliens. <laughs> are the three aliens? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh, Gina says, uh, went to laptop. Yay, Gina! Hopefully it's working. It, yeah, hopefully. And uh, Gary says, uh, sensitivity training. <laughs> Don't start. No, nope, that's another Different show, show man. That's Different show. show. I'll give you some sensitivity training. Oh, no, stop. Be like, I can powder. I'll have to build up a resistance for you oh. by slowly beating you every day with a baseball bat. <laughs> and eventually you're immune to it. <laughs> That's how that works. There's some sensitivity oh. training for you. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Dave, is, Dave is saying if memory serves him correctly, uh, Riff Raff was actually the singing lips. Oh, was it? I don't know. I don't know. That's a good, yeah. I, 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 I look never looked it, it up. <laughs> I, although, he, when he was singing as Riff Raff in the thing, he didn't sound anything like it, so... Well, I mean, come on, look at the scale Tim Curry showed during, oh, know. you know, some of the songs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tim Curry. Tim Curry. <laughs> I just, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. And he, he's a really good singer. Yeah, he yeah, is. You don't really realize it until you see something like that. It's like, man, he's got some serious range. <laughs> he does. Oh, my goodness. A lot of them in that movie had range. Yeah, they do. But Tim Curry you know, was just... No. Yeah. yeah. He, he, I, I like Tim Curry. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then after we got done, you wanted to see something um, oh, mm-hmm. on, on YouTube. It was a song of sorts that you wanted to look up. And then there was something after that that showed up. It, it was the whole, these suggested videos. Oh, yeah. This, and, yeah right. and, um, and one of them was a compilation of Tim Curry. Yeah, and I was disappointed. I, I was disappointed in it, but it was, it was interesting because they actually showed some things I didn't even know Tim Curry was in. <laughs> like, he voiced um, uh, the dad slash... Um, Doctor in Thornberries, the wild Thornberries. Yeah, and I've and never even heard of that, so I had no idea what it was. You know, I I didn't know. I I've seen it a few times yeah, yeah. Uh, when I babysat. Oh, okay. But uh, I, I it didn't dawn on me. Well, one of my favorite. I mean, obviously voice. for voiceover work, my favorite uh, voiceover that he did was from Fern Gully as the smoke the sludge. monster. Oh, <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> You know, for voiceover work, that was my favorite. Yeah, favorite. yeah. he 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 nailed that. I, yeah. But you know, he every role he's in, though. Yeah, he it, nails he, it. He nails it. It's Tim Curry, it, man. It, right. And yeah. that's what I was trying to show you. I was trying to show you that show Earth Two. I was telling you about. That's what oh, it was yes. about, Lois. Yes. There was a show called yes. Earth Two, and he was in it. Yes. Yeah, we talked about this a couple I of times. Slept. Anyway, <laughs> you slept. I've slept oh, since yeah. then. <laughs> I was out needs. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, yeah, so, you know, there was that, and so I was trying to find a clip where it had Tim Curry in it, where he's doing some of his stuff from that show. It, yes, so anyway, yes. Anyway, it didn't pan out very well. They had, like, a, a kind of a small scene, but it wasn't, you gotta, it, he's just, he's epic in that show. Oh. So, and it's funny, I couldn't believe they brought someone with that kind of gravitas to a, a sci-fi, like, you know, little show. <laughs> it was like, oh my God. Yeah, but, you know, that may be something that he's in. I know a lot of actors <laughs> and, um, who... It, it may not be something that you typically see them in, mm-hmm. but it's something they are very interested in. Oh, yeah. And, and I'm just saying, to see it you go. had, like, the normal cheesy B-roll sci-fi guys, and there is one guy that's actually famous now, but back then, definitely not. And, you know, they're trying to make it work and everything, and then Tim Curry comes on board, and everyone, you just like, nah, you might as well give up. <laughs> You're done. You're oh. not going to make it, because Tim Curry's on board now. <laughs> We got another oh. <laughs> comment from Carrie. <laughs> uh, Dave, oh, okay. Uh, they were saying, Carrie says, uh, oh, uh, lollygagging watching this show, and what? Oh, and, and bam. bam. It's almost like you got to leave for the first time. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was fun. It was fun. 
I, I can't have a hard time seeing uh, over there. Uh, yeah, that's okay. It's that's very okay. small. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she's uh, she she's getting late for work. Oh, <laughs> don't be late to work. That, that that's don't do what it. it. <laughs> don't do it. That's what it says. You can always catch up later. Yep. We'll, we'll, we'll still be here. Don't worry. Have a fun day at work. <laughs> so yeah, that was interesting. Um, had a good time with that. And uh, good. now we get to watch, you know, 10, 12, 15 hours of uh, Lord of the Rings. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah, it's a good stuff. I, I am. I'm, I'm excited. Far so. over. No. Uh, uh, I, you, I remember that song. Uh-huh. Mountains <laughs> <home> <laughs> <dungeons> deep. <laughs> it's the morning show, man. <laughs> You know, I used to sing that to my kids for for going to bed. We would, and then they would learn the words, and they sang it with me. Nice. That was their bedtime song. Aww. Yep. <laughs> Misty Mountains Cold. I mean, how cool is that? When I was a kid, that would have been amazing to me. Yeah, well. Hopefully, it is to them as well. <laughs> Probably is. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that was that was fun stuff. So we're gonna be doing that, and then I don't know. Uh, you so did. many things. Oh, you got a whole month off, man. We could squeeze a lot of stuff into that. That is true. We could do, uh, you know, maybe a Batman marathon. That could be fun. Mm-mm-mm. No? I, I like Batman. I'm just not one for, you know... I, I, I'm i picky about my marathons. Mm. <laughs> I'm talking about a Christian Bale marathon, though. Uh-uh. Christian Bale's Batman. No. No? <laughs> Ugh, that's it. I'm glad you're going now. <laughs> you stay out! <coughs> if you don't like Batman, you can't stay here. I do like Batman. No! I just... I'm, I'm, when it comes to Batman, I'm not a marathon person. I just terrible, terrible, terrible. I know. I I just lost my cool points. Yep. They Whatever. Just made... <laughs> <laughs> Although since since everybody here likes the Rocky Horror Picture Show and you do as well, you still have that part. But yeah, I probably have none. I thought what about a Superman marathon? Which one? All of them. Okay. <laughs> We're going to start all the way. Back. I I love Christopher Reeve as. as oh uh, oh, you're not starting early enough. What? I have the World War Two cartoons. Oh Lord! Oh yeah! What? <laughs> and then you got to get Christopher Reeve's dad. He was Superman. Was he? Yeah. And he died. And then you know, I mean, there's there's a lot of Superman going on. And oh wait, oh oh, Gina, no! <laughs> oh, what? Well, because so I was gonna go. Okay, oh. we've, got, <laughs> we've got the old World War Two cartoons. We've got the Christopher Reeve's dad when he was Superman. And then we can start going through the different series. We don't. We can just the series. 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 <laughs> series. <laughs> right, but I have like, like the new adventures of of uh, Superman, the adventures of Lois and Clark, and uh, and then there was Smallville. But they're gone now. Gene has got him. <laughs> <laughs> and then it and then there was various. You know, we could do uh, a Super Friends. Then there's the cartoon, the Justice League. I mean. And then you've got Superman the Animated Series, and then we can start on the movies. Okay, how how did <laughs> how did this explode to that level, and it didn't with Batman? Because you were like, I don't like Batman. I do like Batman, but not when it comes to a marathon. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said yes to Superman, so I went ahead and just <laughs> inflated it. <laughs> Uh, I could have no, done the same thing I, with I, Batman. I, I, I know, that's why I was asking. Adam West and everything, man. Come on. <laughs> I grew up on those. I know. <laughs> this is great. Hilarious, man. Oh, my goodness. It's fun stuff. Did you know from Batman the Animated Series? Did you ever watch Batman the Animated yes. Series? The only, I mean, my favorite of uh, of the animated rendition. They did an amazing job with that. But my favorite episode was the one with the Grey Ghost. And uh, the Grey Ghost was a superhero that he used to watch on TV when he was a kid, which is kind of what inspired him to become Batman later, you know. And oh, okay. the Grey Ghost was his hero. The Grey Ghost was voiced by Adam West. Nice. <laughs> so, Very cool. nice. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, I, I think he's also the mayor of Quahog, or was. Um, from. Uh, was he mayor? Yeah, he was the mayor of Quahog. Yes, he was. <laughs> he was. <laughs> which cracked me up. He, he passed away recently. Uh, he, he did. He did. But anyway, he was very yeah. talented, and he, he was, was the Grey Ghost in Batman the Animated Series. Not that anybody actually cares about that. 
<laughs> you, 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 and a few other select people have memories for that, and I do apologize. I haven't. I was eyelash. gonna say you've been digging in your eye socket for quite some <laughs> yeah, time now. Are I have an eyelash that has decided to plant itself in there. Uh, I think I got it. Oh, thank God! <laughs> I think eventually your eyes is gonna fall out into your lap. <laughs> That I mean, give us what? The <laughs> yeah, it's like come and lose his eye on live broadcast. <laughs> Dave says, "Didn't I tell you win-win agreement?" Yes, yes. definitely a win-win yes. agreement. So uh, after Lord of the Rings, we'll 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 figure out another agreement. Yeah, this and is true. caveman will be not. Will come not on, be gone. <laughs> caveman is amazing, <laughs> and it's got music too. <laughs> and people that have never seen K-Man are like, what on earth is he doing? <laughs> and like, ah! Ah! Oh. See, I have... I, I made I, you watch that clip. Yes, you did. <laughs> I found that clip on YouTube. It's the invention of music from K-Man. It's amazing! Oh, see, now compare... Okay, so <laughs> Dave mentioned that Susan Sarandon... Um, Refused to acknowledge that she was in Rocky Horror sure. for a very long time, um, which to me is hilarious because all you have to do is watch it and you know it's her. It's like, oh, uh, look, it's you. <laughs> it's not your doppelganger. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but between that and Caveman, I could see people not acknowledging they were. Yeah, in but they had no issues. All right, Ringo stars in it. Dennis Quaid is in that movie, man. And so is Shelley Long. Yeah, there's all kinds of famous people in there. And, and I, I had wonder, fun. I wonder how many actually acknowledged that they were oh, ever in that movie really? to this day. Come on, that's, <laughs> that's a cult classic too. If you haven't seen Caveman, you got to check it out. It's how fun. is it a cult classic if probably hardly anybody has ever heard of it? Just because you haven't heard of it doesn't mean there's not a group of us out there. I have there's a very small group of people which is that not I a cult classic. Well, we make. just don't communicate very well. With <laughs> It is too. <laughs> My dad is a member of that group. <laughs> He's the one that got me started on it when I was a kid. What about your brother? He hates it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a cult of two. Oh, well, you know I what? love you guys. The fewer there are of us, the more powerful we become. <laughs> Eventually, I will be a cult of one. Oh no! <laughs> I think you already are. Oh. <laughs> of cult classic <laughs> movies and things of that nature. They're, you know, you remember The Never Ending Story? Uh, yes. The Never Ending Story. I love The Never Ending Story. I, I love that movie. The too. first one. The rest of you guys, I don't know what the heck went on, but... Mm. Uh, uh, yeah, remakes are generally not They weren't thing. remakes, man. Or, or sequels. They just kind of went... They, they did. They did. Uh, but anyway, so the first one, my favorite one. But you remember how I was describing to you the fact that I used to live in Germany. Yes. When I was but a youngin'. A, a young lad. I know this story and you're a twin. <laughs> ah! Alright, I guess we don't have to do this. No, no, go there. I'm jealous. That's why you're a twin. <laughs> so, so I grew up, uh, you know, in, in Germany. Uh, my dad was in the military. We, you know, he was stationed over there. And uh, we used to go to Perlocker Forest, uh, which was across the Autobahn from where we lived on the barracks, which oh. we had to cross to get over there. I was going to say, so running across the Autobahn, the conversation we had last week. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. pretty much. <laughs> That's why it popped into my head, because we talked about it recently. <laughs> so anyway, uh, one of the times that we were, and I only partially remember this. My dad has actually told me more about this than what I, what I remember. But I do remember some of it. Apparently, we were out there wandering around doing, you know, hiking in, in the forest, just having a good old time. And that is where they were filming part of the never-ending story. Nice. And they had Falcor the Luck Dragon set up there. How cool. When I was a kid, I got to see the real Falcor. Nice. Yeah, pretty much. Did Dad take pictures? I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. 
<laughs> Although he was a photographer back then, but I don't think we took the camera on our normal day trips. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And that, this fail. was the, That's a fail. This was the same place, and I still remember to this day. There were the, there was this uh, magical tree stump on our on our walk that we would go on, and uh, we would take pebbles and we would put these pebbles. Uh, on the tree stump. And then when we would come back from our walk, there was a, a magical tree fairy that had changed the pebbles into change. Nice. You know, into money. Oh. And so, you know, obviously, that we it was like the most amazing thing ever. And, you know, we later found out that it was actually, you know, depending on who was out walking us, whether it was uh, dad or our mom, uh, they would actually come out behind us and, you know, swap out the stuff into change. And... Uh, <laughs> That, that turned out interesting because one time I tried it because we were only able to do it if he mentioned it. We weren't allowed to do it by ourselves. <laughs> and it didn't work this one time. <laughs> but anyway, that's a different story. <laughs> oh, that's so, yeah, funny. I'm just saying. That is funny. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, I got to see Falcor yeah. and the Luck Dragon in real life uh, uh, while they were, you know, they had the movie set out there in the whole just, yeah. It's pretty cool, man. I'm jealous, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was neat. It was neat. But like I said, I don't I remember bet. as much as he told me about, you know. Well, of course, so, you know. I was little. Kid perception and, yeah. and brain. <laughs> Giant <laughs> look dragon. <laughs> <laughs> kind of freaky. Just saying. Kind of freaky. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right. Well, I think uh, it, it's uh, just about time to wrap up, Lois. Do you, right. do you have any any final words to say to our to our lovely network members out there? I'll see you Monday. That's <laughs> it. That's all you got. <laughs> well, you got guest speakers coming in, I know. or, or co hosts, or whatever. You know. <laughs> and pizza I don't berries. Know. Yeah. Crazy people. <laughs> yeah. Fellow ducks <laughs> like myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I guess we're going to go ahead and call it a day, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for liking, sharing, and commenting on yes. all of these videos. Thank it you, really thank does you. help us out. We hope you have an amazing day, and we will see you on the next one. Yes, and I will be watching tomorrow night. <laughs> you will be wa Oh, you're going to watch the morning show tomorrow night? Uh, well, yeah, because I'll be in training oh, okay. when, when it starts. Oh, this is true. It yeah. starts at 7.30. Oh, <laughs> All right, guys, who's ready for some rumor? I am. Bye, guys. <laughs>